joining us today. We have an excellent match lined up. Former representatives and teammates of SK Telecom, give it up for Sue versus Classic. And be sure to join us every Sunday as well. We will be bringing you some amazing StarCraft action. We call it the Sunday Skirmish. So be sure you hit that follow button, swing on by, and join us for some beautiful StarCraft games. Without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our casters for the day. Today we have Shaft and Kid Not. Yeah, so I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Um, we are going to be uh, covering a Zerg vs. Protoss, one of my favorite matchups, actually. Definitely um, one of the more exciting matchups. Is one of the, it tends to go pretty late game, sometimes all the way up to Broodlords. We're going to be playing on Black Pink Ladder Edition. I think that's going to play its role in this matchup as well. To tell us all about how both these players' styles and this matchup affect this map, it's none other than... <laughs> it's a, none other than Kid Not Zero One. How do you think they're going to, uh, to fare on this map, man? Well, hey, everybody. It's good to be with you. I think that uh, this map is going to give us a real exciting match. I know that uh, Classic, he likes to open up with a Stargate. And I think Sue, he's going to probably open up pretty standard. Uh, Stargate on this map is um, it, it's pretty, pretty easy to hold off and pretty easy to scout. Uh, but don't be surprised if Sue doesn't even scout. He knows Classic real well. He knows he's going to open up that standard Oracle. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely something Classic. If Classic doesn't open Stargate, he opens a Cannon Rush and then a Stargate. So we'll see what they end up choosing to do on this map. But being that they are former teammates, you have to wonder at the wheels within wheels going on, like the plans within plans, the mind games that go through any given match between yeah, I think being former teammates, I think that um, they practice with each other. They've taught each other things. So now we're going to get really down to who's actually playing better today and uh, who, do, who who's prepared for what the other one has to throw at him. Yeah, exactly, man. Well, we are going to go ahead and introduce these guys because you're on the top of the right-hand side of Blackpink Ladder Edition. In the green, Rotoss Strong. It's classic. And in the bottom left-hand corner, we have our GSL finalist from 2017. It is none other than Sue. Now, Sue is uh, going Metabolic Boost, and as soon as Metabolic Boost started, he pulled two workers out of that gas. Can you tell us a little bit more about that move? Yeah, what he's doing is he took a quick third, and he pulled out of gas. He's just trying to get an economic opener, and he'll probably go a few extra queens. Mm -hmm. And then right around the four minute mark, he'll get back into gas once he decides what his tech's going to be. But he'll probably make about six links for defense and just a few extra queens. So that's why he's pulling out of gas so early. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So this is kind of a slow roll of the game. We're already three minutes in. We got the third base taken. Um, going more economic. This is, I mean, Sue's a very well rounded player, but tends to be a little more on the aggressive side. This isn't really what I was expecting from him. No, he's, he's playing uh, pretty standard, pretty defensive. We do have the Oracle that's being chrono boosted from uh, our uh, Protoss player classic, and we'll see how Sue is prepared for that. We don't see any spore crawlers yet. We got a couple extra queens, but again, we have that classic Oracle opener by classic. <laughs> classic by classic. Yeah. You got it. You got now, it. Now, the Lings over here do get uh, shaded upon. Shade runs right over the Ling, says, Hi, how you doing? I see you. Run away. They're not running away. But the Oracle, of course, is going to skirt on the outside of that, and he's going to be swinging right into that natural, it looks like, and we'll see what kind of damage he's done. Right, and we have a lair coming up for Sue. He did go back into one gas right around mm -hmm. 3.30, and now he's taking double gases. We have an Oracle going into the natural. Yeah. Got two queens. He lost a couple of drones, but he should be okay. Yeah, two drones, not too big a deal, and he's got to be careful not to lose oh, his oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh, oh, there God. goes the queen. Oh, he got the Oracle. Oh, that was terrible. Wow. I don't think Stu could have timed that out better. No, that was absolutely perfect. And I know that Classic wasn't expecting that queen to pop right as he was trying to escape from the third base. Ninja queen. He's got to wonder if that thing was... <laughs> okay, so looks like we've got a fairly standard build coming out of Classic here. Um, He's got, you know, the, the Phoenix. He's already revealed the Oracle. Um, The... Uh, Twilight Council's already researching charge lots. 
We've got the Templar Archives. It looks like a typical PETA build. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Uh, Sue was able to get in there with an Overlord. It was taken out by the Phoenix, but he was able to scout the Robo. So okay. he's probably going to be expecting that uh, Warp Prism coming out. Mm -hmm. um, got a Hydra Den coming down. Boy, he's, he's going to want to make some Banelings or something. I'm afraid he's got, uh, with eight or nine gateways, he's got the... Um, War Prism coming down. It was spotted by the Lings, so uh -huh. let's see how he prepares for that uh, first bit of aggression by a classic. Yeah, actually, Ling's doing a good job cutting into that fog of war just to get the Zealots off their back and, you know, managing to get away pretty much intact there. First Archon is morphing. Well, second Archon, actually. There's one. His brother, Companion, right there beside him. Observer on the way. But now we've got a Spire coming through. Right, we got a little push going toward the third, but... Uh, I do believe we have the, where did the warp prism go? He was going toward the main. Just south of the two queens. Queens get picked up here. A zealots running onto the creep. Does intercept a hydra getting a good kill there. Boy, that's a lot of charge lots with with no bandings and just hydra. I'm afraid that uh, that's going to be a tough hole. Picking yeah. up some queens with the phoenix. Queen's getting uh, killed off here. Hydra's going to be forced to kite backwards. Queen's going to be the only we buffer there on all the queens falling very quickly. Hydra's being careful to target uh, the individual zealots, but really the bulk of this army here are Archons. Drones being forced off the line, and looks like this could be the end of Sue here. You got the warp prism. I just don't think he's going to have enough to hold off these charge lots. Mm-mm. Nope, I do not think so as well, but he's got to be careful. He's killing off that Archon. That's going to be the major damage dealer. And now with the charge lots, he may be able to hold this just in the nick of time. He did. He lost 26 workers in that first push, though. And uh, yeah. it's just going to be hard to recover from that. Uh, Absolutely. Classics. 50 probes right now to 43 drones. Yeah, we got Classic up on a third base. Might be a little difficult to recover from that kind of so. Mm -hmm. All right, so right now, Sue, in order to recover from this, he's pulled up at his third, he's pulled off his fifth and sixth gas and going to try to resurrect his mineral income. Mineral, of course, is the only thing that drones cost, so I think that might be a good choice to get back into this game if he's not going to immediately all in. And he's just, he doesn't have the, the tech composition to all in, I don't think. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any banging us. He doesn't have any evil chambers. Mm -hmm. um, he is research researching the hydralis no he actually he's getting the armor for the uh no i checked that he's just droning up no he is there it is there it is i couldn't find the evil chamber he's got the evil chamber down at the third yeah base. he's getting plus one ranged yeah. as well as a yeah. bunch of hydralis and typically from my understanding um when you see this many archons you basically do nothing but lings with a huge backbone of hydras lings there to buffer hold the archons in place where they can't actually attack the hydras um but i'm afraid he just doesn't have the economy to support that right no and and he's got uh classic has storm researching he's got mm -hmm. archons he's got immortals he's got zealots that uh with plus one mm -hmm. and he has a 67 to 52 worker lead so yeah starting to look a little brutal here yeah, it's, it's not looking good. He is trying to put down a fourth base. So if you were Sue, what would you do to try to get back into this game? Probably GG. No. <laughs> nice. To, no, just to get back into this game, um, I definitely would try and put down a Bangley Nest. Uh, mm -hmm. He's going to have to do something with those charge slots. They're going to be leading the pack, and without any type of Banglings, his, uh, I'm just afraid his Hydras are just going to melt. They don't have the upgrades. Well, these links do swing into the third, harassing the probes very heavily. A couple of the charge lots are going to swing in here. Hold the line, but holding position here on the mirror line. He is going to get cleaned up, and there's a major there's attack. Great storms! Yes, oh, great storms man. coming down. And the immortals cleaning everything up here. Uh, Archon's taking a lot of the damage. Queen's falling. Hydralis getting cleaned up here as well by the charge lots. There's just not very much left here in this in this composition here for Sue. Now we have another Zealot warp in coming in. All right, and there is the GG. Sue going to be tapping out. Classic taking a very convincing game here. Um, 
Kid not. If you uh, had to say, what was like the major game changer there? Like, what, well, what did would, it go wrong? What did Sue do, or what did Classic do right? I would say uh, the biggest thing was not being able to scout the additional gateways that uh, Classic was putting down in the main base for mm -hmm. the charge slots. I think it went up to eight gateways. Mm -hmm. And with just the Hydra list, you really need to get a banging nest to uh, help hold off that uh, Zealot charge push. Yeah, I think that's exactly right, man. Well, Polygoners, I do want to thank you for watching this. As uh, Andy mentioned to you guys earlier, we do have the Sunday Skirmish coming up. Uh, first, uh, the first, uh, no, no, not the first Sunday of uh, of the new year. It's actually going to be the second Sunday, I believe. Yeah, so it's going to be the 14th, January 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. You can check it out, twitch.tv slash polygonsc2. And as always, it's going to be uploaded right here on YouTube. So I can't wait to see you guys there. But before we close it out, Let's send it over to Andy Man, who's going to ask you guys to subscribe to this channel. Why? Because it's the right thing to do, because you're awesome. And thank you, Kid, for that awesome cast. Sorry, I keep Kid Not. I keep wanting to call you either Slipknot or Kid Rock. It's <laughs> it's hard either way. Yeah. Good job, cast, and thank you so much for that. It was a wonderful little fight there. As you can see on the instant replay, I think you saw it. The uh, the the um, Oracle getting picked off by that queen as she popped out at the most epic of times. So anyway, yeah, as Shaft said, hit that follow button and be sure to come back on Sunday the 14th. That is January 14th. We will be doing an awesome show match for you, and then that will continue throughout the month of January every single Sunday. So definitely come on back and hang out with us as we cast these amazing players that come through the, uh, come through the tournaments here. Anyway, that's it for the cast. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll see you on Sunday. Have a good night. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.